This is BTV. Profiling innovative companies on national TV and financial portals. With host, Taylor Tone. Hello, I'm Taylor Tone and welcome to BTV Business Television, where today we're all about investments in life sciences. This week, Verisant Technologies has one cancer detection device on the market and strategic alliances that promise more down the line. We will actually have this constant stream of improvements and new inventions. Vivian Biosciences has a product that could put them ahead of the competition look at a single cell versus multi-cells gives us a capability and a strategic advantage that no one else has today. BioAces Technologies has garnered significant praise and lots of business interest for their innovative drug delivery system. To get four major pharmaceutical companies in a 12-month period to sign collaborations with us is unheard of. And pharmaceutical giant Valiant Pharmaceuticals gets hit with a hundred million dollar fine. We find out how that affects its stock price. All that plus disruptive technology for spinal injury with Aurora Spine. And healing with lasers with Theralace. If you're looking for investments, you don't want to miss this week's show. Stay with us. Coming up, we take a close look at investing in acquisition-hungry Valiant Pharmaceuticals. But first, here's some investment advice in the life sciences sector. They need to invest like they would in any other sector. They need to understand the technology. They need to understand the marketplace. And of course, critical is understanding who is part of the team that is driving that company forward that is going to commercialize those products. I think with those elements in consideration, life science and life science investment becomes just like any other investment. Coming up, Verison Technologies CEO explains their new cancer fighting device and their business plan. Plus the latest on massive pharma company Valiant and why their stock price performs the way it does. Stay with us. This is BTV. Welcome back to BTV. Coming up, we take a close look at investing in acquisition-hungry Valiant Pharmaceuticals. But first, here are some trends we're seeing in the life sciences sector. We're already seeing a number of apps that are coming forward that are handheld and mobile devices that are helping patients better manage their medications, better manage their disease states as well, and feed that back into better outcomes so that their physician actually can manage their outcomes much better. If you ever become seriously ill, an accurate and early diagnosis is critical. Now a Canadian company called Verison Technology could affect your prognosis. This ISO certified medical device company is making a serious difference with its innovative systems for the early detection of cancer. Thomas Braun, Verison Technologies President and CEO, has logged a lot of miles over the past three years, bringing his company's medical technology from concept to reality. It's serious business. We're providing devices for the detection of skin cancer, lung cancer, colon cancer, esophageal cancer, stomach cancer, and others using a platform technology we license from the British Columbia Cancer Agency that in half a second looks at 21 different spectral biomarkers and determines whether or not the tissue you're looking at is malignant or benign. Cancer continues to be a major cause of death in North America and around the world. The need for better tools to help doctors detect cancer early cannot be overstated. It contains a diagnostic algorithm. It works in almost real time. It's totally non-invasive and safe for the patient. We think those are the things that are key to gaining rapid adoption of this technology. So they're literally a fingerprint of what the cancer is. So it can give us with 99% accuracy whether it's one of those lesions. 
but also it can compare it against pre-cancers or non-cancers. It really is a good thing for our patients. It really is a scientific breakthrough. The system itself will actually allow us to make instant diagnosis, real-time diagnosis, less than half a second. We can now have a full market release. 2014 as a result, I think it's going to be a very exciting year for the Aura. Now, Verisant is completing the first round of tests on 250 patients for another application of their technology, detecting one of the most lethal cancers. We're going to debut prototype for the uh, Verisant core for lung cancer, and that helps us launch that product into the rest of the world. The core instrument is tiny enough to fit into an endoscope about the size of a toothpick. Once inside the lungs, combined with fluorescent images, the Raymond explores the lungs' myriad tiny airwaves, making both those existing technologies considerably more effective. You cannot use Raymond to find the suspicious area because uh, it's a huge field. We flooded them out. They're about the size of a tennis court. Yeah. So with the fluorescent image, you'll find the suspicious area. Then with the Raman probe point, pinpointed to the area, then like, uh, because of the very high accuracy, you can decide from the Raman spectra if you should biopsy or not. So combine the two, hopefully we can get uh, above 90% sensitivity and specificity. Verisant's experienced management team has forged a strong alliance with the BC Cancer Agency Research Centre where they fund an ongoing annual research grant of $250,000. What that means is that we will actually have this constant stream of improvements and new inventions coming to the company out of this laboratory that has proven to be sort of like a, a cornucopia of cancer detecting technologies. Collaborative is very sound and uh, really makes this happen. Verisant's cancer agency investment is already paying off. We've just debuted a more recent prototype of a multispectral imaging camera. This has also come out of the BC Cancer Agency, and it's a very exciting product that we have the rights to for oral cancer and skin cancer. Multispectral imaging uh, captures the light at uh, the many bands, like 10 or 20, 30, 40, up to 40 specific the bands or frequencies of light wavelengths. So potentially it provides uh, lots of or more information that the eye cannot uh, detect or, ex or extract. The business case for the multispectral imaging camera is spectacular. Why? Because of its low cost, its ease of use, and the fact that it is so much more advanced over existing products. With this diagnostic algorithm, we're actually helping doctors diagnose the cancer. We're not just giving them a photograph of it. For oral cancer, it's very important because there's already a billing code and reimbursement in place. That means dentists can use the relatively inexpensive Verisant device to immediately add revenue, screening patients for oral cancer. Further projects in the company pipeline all using the same or similar technology include testing for colon, esophagus, and even brain cancer. We got a big collaboration grant there from the Chinese um, uh, Natural Science Foundation to look, look at the lacerophageal cancer because in South China, lacerophageal cancer is a, uh, it's a huge problem. Verisant is not just impressing the end users of its technology. In 2012, the TSX Venture Exchange named it the pick of the street. Then in January 2013, Verisant won the prestigious PRISM Award for Optics and Photonics, beating out runner-up Olympus Corporation. And in April, they won an Edison Award, one of the highest accolades a company can receive in the name of both innovation and business. It was ranked as the number one uh, science and technology company on the TSX Venture. It's obviously a game changer and we love disruptive technologies like that. Because there's no cure for cancer, the best way of beating this disease is detecting it as soon as possible. So we really want to find these cancers at a treatable stage so that the patient will have a much better outcome. 
Verison Technologies' Aura Cancer Detection System is currently seeking approval in Brazil, Mexico and the U.S. Look for Verisant on the TSX Venture Exchange under the symbol VRS. When we come back, we bring you the latest news on three health science investments, plus Valiant Pharmaceuticals' newest big name acquisition. This is BTV. Welcome back to BTV. A balanced portfolio includes investing in risky sectors because that's where, when you get it right, you can get it very right indeed. Of a thousand agents that are looked at or um, um, discovered, probably one to ten of those is going to make it into the commercialization space. So from that perspective, the hit rate is a little bit lower than some other sectors. Having said that, the return on that is significant because people are only going to back therapeutics, devices, services that go into life sciences in a way that's going to be a benefit to people with disease. It's sometimes known as a risky sector, but Vivian Biosciences is making great strides, taking the risk out of the bioscience sector, as well as the foods we eat. Last spring, the Arkansas-based company went public, and recently they signed a development deal for its foodborne pathogen detection kits. Vivion Bioscience is focused on the commercialization of its Rapid B system. Rapid B is an integrated system of hardware, software, and chemical reagents that test bacteria in food, industrial, and clinical applications more rapidly and with greater precision than current technology allows. The industry is always looking for more rapid foodborne detection methods that will allow them to uh, generate real-time data during a work shift cycle. In addition, they're always in the search for ways to get real-time data snapshots that allows them to apply more cost-effective means on very expensive antimicrobials during processing. Really the opportunity here is to identify bacteria in seven hours or less and, and that includes the sample preparation time. Currently in the marketplace, most of the diagnostic platforms take 48 hours all the way up to five days. Recently, Vivian forged a development relationship with Sarah Care, a recognized industry leader in foodborne pathogen detection. The company's products are used around the world by many leading diagnostic kit manufacturers. The new relationship is expected to accelerate commercialization of Vivian's Rapid B foodborne pathogen detection platform. One of the opportunities that Rapid B gives a manufacturer is to potentially reduce their chemical costs. Um, when they use antimicrobials today, one size fits all. Vivian also has an ever-expanding collection of assays and applications of significant interest to the food safety, industrial microbiology, and clinical diagnostic fields. Really believe that the Food Safety Modernization Act in the U.S. that's being implemented is, is really forcing the manufacturers to look at diagnostics differently. And from the bottom up, the companies like Walmart and Costco are forcing the manufacturers to do a better job of food safety. So having a platform that can give them the results in seven hours or less and actually look at a single cell versus multi-cells gives us a capability and a strategic advantage that no one else has today. Vivian Biosciences recently announced a collaboration agreement with the University of Arkansas for research and study on existing as well as future assays. You can find Vivian on the TSX Venture Exchange under the symbol VBI. And now an update from a company we featured last year here on BTV. BioAces Technologies recently presented their new drug delivery system at a breast cancer conference where they garnered praise 
But that's not all. BioASIS is focused on the delivery of therapeutic compounds to the, uh, through the blood-brain barrier into the brain tissue. It's an area of science that's, been, that's eluded doctors for years and we believe we've uh, come across a discovery that allows us to be able to deliver those compounds, get it across the blood-brain barrier and to help those physicians treat patients who uh, otherwise couldn't be treated. We're not a drug company per se. In other words, we're not making drugs. We're actually taking pre-existing therapeutics that have already been approved by the FDA and other, and other agencies that could help patients if they could be delivered across the blood-brain barrier and get it into the brain tissue. So that's essentially what we are. We're a delivery company. We deliver those compounds and get those compounds to an area that currently right now they can't get to. We've been working on an oncology program which we call BT2111, which is the delivery of Herceptin across the blood-brain barrier to treat brain metastases in patients that get HER2 positive breast cancer. And we just presented that data and some new data at this conference and it was, it was ex received tremendously well. We also can target tissues in the rest of the body where it's very difficult to get compounds to. Intercellular transport, in other words, getting it right inside the cell, which we've been able to find that, into various organs in the body in greater concentration so that it can potentially help increase the concentration or the therapeutic effect in those organs as well. BioASIS continues to garner great interest from the pharmaceutical industry, which has led to collaborations with top companies such as Shire, AbbVie, formerly Abbott, Metamune, an AstraZeneca company, and UCB Pharma. I don't think a lot of people recognize the fact that to get four major pharmaceutical companies in a 12-month period to sign collaborations with us is unheard of. And the big companies look at this and they say, they're, they're astounded we could get that. So we achieved something quite dramatic or quite very successful, a big milestone for us. I think from an investor standpoint, collaborations are very important. Um, we don't expect them all to succeed. We'd be foolish to do that. But we do expect that they will lead to potential agreements that will lead to transactions, that will lead to money for the company, that will, be, that will lead to seeing our technology actually make it out of the lab, so to speak, and actually into the clinic where the patients need the treatments. So they're very key, and I think we're going to see some successes within those collaborations. Looking forward, we do see a tremendous amount of interest coming out of the United States in, in the company. So we've engaged with Leola's group out of uh, California, and we're now working with them in an IRPR role in the U.S to actually go after the U.S. market. And we see that as being potentially a very, very strong opportunity for our company. And it will benefit shareholders because we will increase our shareholder base dramatically. Most of you are likely familiar with lasers used to remove hair or brown spots. Well, Theralase Technologies, symbol TLT on the Venture Exchange, manufactures and markets patented super-pulsed laser technology used in both healing and destroying tissue. Their healing technology has proven to be safe and effective in the treatment of pain, inflammation, and the acceleration of tissue healing for a wide range of nerve, muscle, and joint conditions. Their destructive technology uses patented photodynamic compounds, or PDCs, which when light activated, specifically target and effectively destroy cancer, bacteria, and viruses. Recently, Theralase had a breakthrough in this anti-cancer technology, demonstrating an ability to completely destroy highly aggressive colon cancer tumors in mice. After receiving only one Theralase cancer treatment, these mice have remained cancer-free for a remarkable 20 months and counting. That's equivalent to 50 human years. These new classes of drugs are so potent to cancer that in side-by-side cell-based experiments, they were exponentially more effective than two currently FDA-approved photoactive drugs. Looking for unbiased, non-paid editorial about investing in mining, oil and gas, and alternative energy stocks? Resource World magazine is the essential tool for investing in publicly traded resource companies. Resource World is distributed in 46 countries to stock investors, stock brokers, institutional investors, and others interested in the facts on investing in the resource sector. This valuable source of critical information is yours for only $39.95 or $59.95 for two years. Call toll-free now to order or go online at resourceworld.com. This is BTV.
Globally, the spinal implant market is dominated by screws. A new company, Aurora Spine, symbol ASG on the TSX Venture Exchange, is focused on bringing new solutions to the spinal implant market through a series of minimally invasive, regenerative spinal implant technologies. Recently, Aurora Spine announced that the first European surgical implant of the company's ZIP MIS Interspinous Implant was performed in Siena, Italy. The company plans to train more spine surgeons this year on their technology, supporting a broader launch in Europe in 2014. Aurora Spine advocates their ZIP system is a better spinal fusion option for doctors and patients. Additionally, Aurora Spine announced the first U.S. surgical usage of the company's Amnio Pure Liquid Allograft product in a lumbar spinal procedure. Amnio Pure is derived from the amniotic membrane and provides a structural matrix for use in filling bone voids and soft tissue. Valiant Pharmaceuticals is Canada's largest pharmaceutical company. They also boast annual revenues in the billions. And with ongoing expansion plans well underway, as well as the stock price that has increased by almost 120% over the past year alone, it seems Valiant is doing more than just a few things right. Valiant Pharmaceuticals International is a diverse and decentralized pharmaceutical company based in Laval, Quebec. It is the largest pharmaceutical company in Canada. With nearly 1,500 employees worldwide, Valiant realizes annual revenues in excess of $3.55 billion. Almost all of that comes from the sale of a wide range of drugs, including over-the-counter medications, medical devices, and prescription products such as the antidepressant Wellbutrin. For Valiant, an important part of the growth strategy has been numerous acquisitions of medical and pharmaceutical companies, sometimes in the multi-billion dollar range. The company averages nearly 25 such transactions each year. Just last spring, Valiant successfully acquired Bosch & Lomb, a maker of contact lens solutions, eyewear and surgical devices for $8.57 billion in cash. Valiant stock rose 25% on that news and has continued trending upward since, doubling in value over one year ago. Recently, Valiant was ordered to pay an arbitration award of $100 million to Anacor Pharmaceuticals, resolving a breach of contract dispute. Despite this decision, their stock stays strong. Well, as of May this year, Valiant was valued at $29 billion, with more than 500 products in their portfolio. Today, they're valued at just over $36 billion. Thanks for joining us today. I hope you enjoyed the show and that you came away with a deeper understanding of the potentially lucrative and health promoting life sciences sector. For BTV, I'm Taylor Tone. Until next time, may your portfolio prosper.